What is the crack, lads? Welcome back. We're back with more player reviews. We've got Croatia up as a national team selection. Ends in six days. 100 coins per spin. And you have got eight players. So, yeah, I mean, look, are you interested in this? I think if you are a Croatia fan and if you are somebody that's looking to upgrade your squad, there are some definite beasts in here. I would say that my pick of them is probably uh, Modric, obviously. And I would also say this guy is not too bad and Perisic is not too bad. There's a couple here that are definitely worth spinning for. So let me know if you guys are going to spin or skip with this Croatia pack. We are going to head over to eFootball DB in just a second and have a look. Brozovic is a good player as well. He's got a wavering form. He's also got fairly decent passing, dribbling and speed as well as defensive stats. See, this is what you need to look at when you are looking at a DMF. You need a, somebody that's able to intercept the ball that's the only objective that they have realistically yeah it's it's a it's a bonus if you're able to link up the play with nice passing but you know you're not going to get defensive stats like in the high 90s and have 90 dribbling and 90 passing and 90 speed it's just not going to happen unless they release players that are like 100 overall with everything 99 like an nba 2k it's not going to happen i mean i remember that was the turning point for me playing nba 2k when i saw Shaq hitting you know a 99 uh three-point rating and he was hitting three you know three-point shots from halfway court like Steph Curry and that was like okay yeah there's a step too far for me but yeah there is a lot of uh, a lot of nice cards in this pack so as I said we are going to go over to eFootballDB.com we are going to start with Modric and we're going to kind of switch this up a bit kind of train him up because a lot of people are asking about training and maxing out and stuff look lads I mean you, you don't need to train the player to get the to the best max overall because, for example, like with Modric, right? I could throw a lot of points into defending here. Modric has got 22 levels to go. I could throw a lot of points into defending here and get Modric up to like, you know, 12 points into defending and I don't need to max out the card, but I could turn Modric into a really different player because of that. I could even go further and turn him into an exceptionally defensive player like that's kind of able to defend and block and do everything that like a proper DMF needs to do, but I've nothing else to put points into. So, you know, maxing the player out to have the best overall doesn't mean that it's going to give you, give you as your play style for the way you play within your team and your tactics, the best version of that card. So don't just like, you know, follow um, like a, a guide to, you know, in my opinion, don't just follow like an exact template. Like look at the stats that it's upgrading. I mean, it only takes a couple of seconds. And this is why I think eFootballDB is perfect because, you know, you can just slide easily in, um, you know, whatever you want to do and test out a player and say, okay, do I need a player with 90 low passing? Do I need Modric's card to have nice curling ability? Like you don't need to kind of waste the training points and, and ruin a card uh, when you can just simulate it here and see what the finalized version of the card is going to be. So yeah, you know, update and upgrade the player as as you see fit as it's going to suit you i mean because you're going to be playing with him so yeah there is obviously a couple of tips and a couple of like across the board recommendations you can do i always think when i am looking for a cmf you have to make a choice whether you want a kind of a box-to-box -box cmf or you want an orchestrator or a guy that's kind of a bit of finesse that's able to ping passes around across the wings and when you pass him the ball without like a second on the ball you need to have tight ball control unless you want to have somebody like Vieira or Goretzka who's a box-to-box -box. I think if you are going to have a unique player like Modric or Kevin De Bruyne or Tony Cruz or Tonali or somebody like that you need to have a passer right especially if you're not going to be focusing on the defensive side of stuff so with Modric my goal is to get his um, speed up a tiny little bit but then the rest is going to be passing and dribbling that's all I really want get the passing up to 90 and then I would probably do his dribbling up to 90 his tight possession and ball control up to 90 and then you've still got two points where you want to throw them is up to you you could make the, the I would say 90 lofted pass 91 low pass is a must for this Modric card not the best Modric card that they have released but still very very nice if you do uh spin for him and pack him so again we've got Brazovic here so he's a completely different player this is what I'm talking about he's a completely different player than Modric right so he's got 23 levels to go Modric had 22 Modric is an orchestrator he's an orchestrator as well but watch the difference in the stats right you can see straight away the defensive stats here are vitally different so if you want to be playing with this guy i would definitely be not trying to turn him into Modric. you know like you're not going to be able because you need to pump in too many points and you won't have enough you could but i would be thinking right leave his passing and his dribbling as a base like let them just be you know like 
like very decent, especially the lofted pass if you want that, and then have his dribbling fairly decent that when you pass him the ball, he's not making a uh, you know he's not making any mistakes or anything like that. Turn up his acceleration a little bit to be able to cover the pitch. Uh, put up his lower body strength to be able to cover the pitch and have a bit of an engine about him with his stamina. And then the rest I'll be putting into defensive. That's what I'd be putting in. I'd be putting in a few there, a few there. And then maybe one more into defensive as well to turn him into a bit of a beast. Because you've still got a couple here that if you want to pump up his passing, you still have that passing ability that you're able to have. And again, that's a very good card, lads. You know, he's unwavering form. Stamina is good. Balance is good. Kicking power is good. Passing is good. Dribbling is very, very average, but but decent. Um, not a bad card at all. Next up, we've got Perisic, who is one of the best left midfielders in the game really really nice card again he's got uh, only two forms which means he's got standard form which is a bit of a pity but that's how they're balancing cards now uh, especially if a player is a bit inconsistent with the form and has isn't having an amazing season but yeah these um these players are always going to be good because they've got a few levels that you can boost up especially with you've got 17 levels you could put 17 into a lot of different things um and it will work out you know you could put 17 into dribbling there and have him as a monster but yeah again it's all about balancing the card cards lads like his passing there is probably enough as a midfielder it's you know you need to have good passing as a midfielder because you're going to be hitting in a lot of crosses like the the one thing i like about perisic's card lads right is that he's 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 kind of a different than like your out and out winger, right? He's also got super sub, which is vitally important if you are bringing him on for the bench. But yeah, what you want to be doing with Perisic is is playing him differently than you would a winger. Like if you have a winger, all you need to focus on is speed and dribbling, and you need to be able to nail people with uh, with your dribbling skills, right? But this Perisic card, if you are training him up, you need him to be kind of an all rounder. Like I would definitely have him as a more defensive type player. Not, you don't need to bump up his defensive abilities, but I'm saying that you'll be trying to get up and down the pitch as best as you can. You don't need to focus on shooting or anything like that. I would probably focus on that. I would get his acceleration up one or two more. I would get his passing up one or two, and then I would pump the rest into dribbling. You've got a very decent player there that can do pinpoint crossing, that can get the ball into the box, and is able to pick out players for headers. Next up, we've got Kovacic. Kovacic is one of the most underrated players in the game, lads. Trust me on that. He is absolutely incredible stats, he rivals Messi with a lot of his stats, right? But, <clears throat> excuse me, but again, Kovacic is a different type of player. Kovacic has got box to box, but look at his dribbling stats. You barely need to touch them up. Like, you don't even need to upgrade them, I would say. You could literally leave his dribbling there and it's it's going to be as good as Modric's, if not better. Like, well, it's going to be like that with a couple of points in. Uh, it's only going to cost you four points to train that up. And then you're pumping this in, you're going to get 83 in that. You're going to get 83 in that. We'll leave that for a second. You've also got the passing, which you could bring up to 90 for low pass and 84 for lofted pass, and you've still got 16 levels left. Defensively, I would pump up his aggression a little bit, pump it up to five. You don't need to really work on his aerial strength because you're not going to make that any bit decent anyway. So then it's just picking your poison. Do you want a better bit of a better dribbler? Do you want better passing? Do you want better speed? I would say a mixture of everything is going to be is going to be important depending. Low pass 90 is enough. You don't really need to focus on that. Ball control 90, dribbling 90, tight possession 95, balance 90. Absolutely insane. And then obviously you can just tr throw that in there if you want as well to have an 86 acceleration player. Lads, that's one of the best cards in the game. Trust me on that. That is one of the best cards. On top of that, he's got interception as well. So you are going to have a lot of nice cards there or and a lot of nice stats with this card. Definitely recommend Kovacic if you get him. Lovren, not so much. Again, you can do so much with the players, especially if you pump up his stats, if you want to have him as an aerial player. Um, but the defending is going to be only like, you know, you're not going to be able to get the defending stats up that high if you are going to be taking up his pace a little bit. To be honest, a lot of people say that you don't need pace now, right? But even leaving him at 70... Um, and 61 or 64 i still think that the defensive stats aren't going to be the highest that they need to be um he's not the tallest and there's a lot of better alternatives there so i wouldn't waste the trainer points on him unless you're a big fan of lovren pasalic as well this guy is very similar to kovacic but i don't think as good he has got really nice stats there's no doubt about that he's not as fast he's more kind of a kind of a slow down player um but yeah he's not going to have the stats that you would be expected for a player that's a 91 cmf like he's just not good enough i don't think on the dream team stage unless you want to have a bit of fun or you're trying to have a bit of a balance in your squad and you're playing with all croatia players 
Kramaric, uh, again, this guy is a very good striker. He's got fairly decent striking ability. Not the tallest, but he is still fairly decent uh, going forward with the ball. I would focus on his dribbling and I would focus on his acceleration. And then I would probably put one or two into low speed or into speed. Speed is not so much that you need to be focused on that. Probably max him out at 88 finishing and then pump the rest up into speed and uh, dexterity there for acceleration. Again, not a bad card. And last but not least, we have Leverkusen who is 19 overall ratings and then all you're going to be doing is focusing on his uh, reflexes and the other stats that he has but to be honest lads yeah he's not going to be changing the dial for you there are so many good keepers on that you can get now so that is it for the Croatia pack lads I'll be back quite soon with another one I definitely think Kovacic is worth it Bravicic is worth it and Modric they're the three picks that I would have for that Kovacic being the pick of the pack and you look at those stats there it's uh it's it's an incredible card so yeah that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon peace